What is going on YouTube? This is Owen Dowell here and today I am going to be doing a little bit of a Zippo update. I wanted to show you guys my antique copper Zippo after I've been carrying it around for a couple months. Now, I uploaded my video on the antique copper back on January 12th of this year, okay? And it is now April 1st of 2018. You can't really see that because of the lighting, but it is April 1st, 2018 today. It's also Easter. Hope you guys had a nice Easter. Don't know if I'm actually going to get this video posted on Easter, but you know, today is Easter. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show this to you guys. Somebody actually commented on my last video, which is sort of the showcase of the, uh, that which had a showcase of the antique brass in it. Um, somebody actually mentioned that they didn't really want one of these kinds of Zippos because the finish wears off really fast. And that was what I was thinking too. I was thinking when you buy one of these Zippos, you should really expect for the finish in the coating to wear off. And I've looked at a lot of pictures of this on Amazon to kind of see, you know, I've seen a lot of pictures of that on Amazon and a lot of the pictures that people have posted are taken like maybe two or three weeks after they bought the thing and the finish is gone in certain spots like it's just the bare metal right there and I was actually kind of thinking that that wouldn't really bother me that much I was thinking it might actually look kind of nice to have like the uh, sort of that bare copper look because honestly I, I, I'm not gonna lie guys this antiquing finish I mean it looks good but I always thought it was kind of cheesy you know just antiquing something like that um, so you know I was like oh, it wasn't really bothering me that much but <clears throat> it has been well, from the 12th of January to now, that's been about, what, like, uh, three and, like, three quarters months? Or almost three and a half months, I should say, actually. That's that's more like it. And here is what my Zippo looks like as of now. So you can see most of what we have is not a lot. <laughs> Um, this Zippo is holding up remarkably well. Actually, you know, I think what they do with this finish is they make it a lot like they make the candy apple red and the, uh, you know, the, the meadow and the, uh, the cerulean Zippos. I think they do a similar kind of thing, except they dip it in clear coating. I don't know, because it's actually doing what my candy apple red was doing. You can see it, it's kind of though doing a, a very, very similar things to what I would expect an, uh, a candy apple red zippo to do. And the finish is still intact. Uh, I literally, let me tell you what I have. So actually, let me go get my jeans because this is the way that my jeans are usually. They're right here. So on my jeans, I have <clears throat> my keys right here. All right. A little bottle opener, got my keys. Okay, this is my left pocket. In my left pocket, my keys usually are put, I usually put them in there to stop them from jingling around. My wallet goes in. All right, I usually have a chapstick that goes in there too. All right, um, and I have this Zippo. <clears throat> That's all that's in the pocket. That is all this thing is seen, all right? And yes, it does see these keys. I think that's where most of the scuffs come from, is from these keys. And I've said this in the past. I've never really been the most gentle to my user Zippos. They do tend to get used and abused. Sometimes, again, also, you see, I'll, I'll have change in my pocket. There was a time earlier this week where I had quite a lot of change in this pocket with the Zippo and everything. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what it sees. And it is holding up remarkably well. This is a neat little comparison, because this is a copper bottle opener. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So yeah, <clears throat> that is that. Um, so just thought I'd make this real quick video for you guys. Um, hopefully you like it. And uh, yeah, I do apologize if, uh, if I say um in it too much, because I'm just now catching myself doing that. And again, like I say, can't really edit this video, although maybe I could pop it open in like iMovie Mobile, but somebody actually suggested that in my last video, but the problem with iMovie Mobile is that it uh, it takes away that 60 frames per second feature, 
which is kind of disappointing because I personally am a fan of the 60 frames per second. But when you export it, there's no option to export it in 60 frames a second, so, you know, oh well. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Whoops. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this is insightful. And adios.